السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته whenever you are whenever you are today we'll talk about the second lesson we learned about indulgence endurance clemency and forbearance it was 2007 uh, HIV AIDS conference organized in uh, Johannesburg and it was an Islamic conference to try to look at how can we deal with a big Uh, pandemic like that. It was attended by more than 150 uh, dignitaries from different Islamic uh, countries and it was organized by Islamic Relief and we invited also some non-Muslim organizations such as World Vision. The first incident happened in this uh, conference was during one of the sessions uh, uh, the, 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 the speakers talk about the credibility and the integrity of the Prophet and his fiqh and the value of his teaching. And at the end of his, of, of his speech, one of the priests, actually, or originally Syrian, uh, representing World Vision, stood up and started to critically criticizing the opinion of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in many different points, uh, actually trying to stir a problem and to have a confrontation between him and some of the participants in the conference. And I left him, or we left him to carry on till he finished, Then quite a few people from the participants came to me. They want to respond back to him, to have a fight, uh, a theological fight. I said, no, 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 no. Then I went to the stage and I told them, the, the, the master of the session or the organizer of the session, please uh, don't take any more questions and finish the meeting. And then I went to see our colleagues, uh, the participants, and telling them, please don't engage with him inside discussion. Otherwise, we'll have a big problem instead of actually addressing the issue of HIV AIDS. The second incident, I was a chair of one of the sessions and I was inviting the, 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 the chairman of each group discussion and came for me on the stage about four people, Harun from Islamic Leaf and three other people, two from Canada, one was a woman and the other one uh, was uh, uh, a man originally from Jordan. And then I asked him, are you a chairman of one of these? He said, yes, I am a chairman of one of these workshops. So the woman started to speak. Uh, she was originally Asian. Then I told him, you can speak after her. Uh, so then he started to talk the microphone and speak. He said, I'm scared for my life. Since I came here, I'm afraid that I'm not going to go out uh, safe as I came because I am a homosexual or I am gay and I'm I believe that you will not let me to go out. And he started to ask for his right. And they were actually, people were shocked because nobody did anything to him and nobody confronted him and nobody threatened him. And I can see the faces of the people who would like to respond and change the scene into a confrontation between him and them. Then I cooled my nerves and I looked at them with a smile. So most of them understood that I don't want any engagement in this. Then actually I told him, have you finished? He said, yes, I have finished. And I said, thank you very much. Next was Harun to carry on. And after that, this was okay. But after that, next day, you find one of the uh, uh, electronic newspaper from Abu Zab was reporting the incident, was actually uh, working on behalf of UN about this incident. And later on, with this, and in, 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 in the interview, there it said that the woman next to him was uh, holding his hand, encouraging him, saying, well done, go ahead. It seemed that it was all planned before they came to the stage. And when we discussed his issue with the organizers, he was not one of the chairmen of the group discussion. I went again with my colleague to everybody, asked them don't engage with him. Those people come to stir a problem for us. The third incident happened in the same conference again in 2007 in Johannesburg. I was not there, but a young a group of young uh, uh, women came to the hall and they stood there and they were holding hand in hand. Then they start to uh, hug one another. Then they start to kiss one another and say that we are lesbian and trying to stir some problem with the participants, but alhamdulillah, uh, nothing, nobody engaged with them. What I am saying, you could have the right to be whatever you want, but you don't have the right to create problems. That's why endurance was there, forbearance and indulgence for you when you are confronted with something that was unplanned like this. May Allah bless you all. 
and let you to keep your nerve cool in any incident you will face in public.